Victorian Government Trade and Investment Office China Network can assist Victorian companies in a range of ways. Uh, starting from the most simple, we, we can introduce uh, the Chinese market to them and specifically information around industry sectors. Uh, for companies that are looking to enter the market and are paying a visit, we can also support them by putting together a program where they can meet with potential business partners, uh, receive briefings on how the sector they're entering works and who the key players are, what the key regulations are. With a total of 30 staff, they attend trade shows, investment promotions, various events where they can build their networks. Given the importance of relationships, you've got to have a very strong and wide network. We also leverage off our universities and their alumni networks and attend those and, and sometimes even host them. When, when companies from Victoria are looking at China, it's important to recognise that it's not just one single market, but in actual fact, it's a range of markets together. And the way they do business and some of their cultures and customs can vary significantly. The most satisfying part of my job is probably the fact that I feel very privileged to be living in China during this period of time. I think it's undergoing tremendous change, rapid change. I'm sure that in 10, 20, 30 years time, we will look back at this time in China as a pivotal time when China changed and really developed into a country of high tech, high innovation, uh, a global leader in many industry sectors and cemented its importance in the global economy. What's the best thing about living in China? That's a hard question. The simple answer would be the food. I've lived in Japan, I've lived in Malaysia and travelled extensively throughout Southeast Asia and now I get to live in China uh, for the past three years and uh, what a dynamic and exciting place China is. So I feel extremely lucky. Authorised by Victorian Government, 1 Treasury Place, Melbourne.